snow came early to the island of Sodor, it was heavier than usual. Most engines hate snow. Donald and Douglas were used to it. Coupled back to back with a van between their tenders and a snowplow in their fronts, they set to work. They puffed backwards and forwards patrolling the line. Generally, the snow slipped away easily, but sometimes they found deeper drifts. Presently, they came to a drift that was larger than most. They charged it, and were just backing for another try when... Help! Help! Lo sec, Donald! It's Henry! Don't worry yourself, Henry! Wait a while! We'll have you out! Henry was very grateful. He saw that all was not well. The twins were looking glum. They told them that Sir Topham Hat was making a decision. He'll send us away for sure. It's a shame, said Percy. A lot of nonsense about a broken signal box, grumbled Gordon. That spiteful brake fan too, put in James. Good riddance, that's what I'd say. The twins were splendid in the snow, added Henry. It isn't fair. They all agreed that something must be done, but none knew what. Percy decided to talk to Edward about it. What you need, said Edward, is a deputation. He explained what that was. Percy ran back quickly. Edward says we need a d -d 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 depot station. Of course, said Gordon. The question is... Um, what is a desperation, asked Henry. It's when engines tell Sir Topham Hat something's wrong, said Percy. Did you say tell Sir Topham Hat, asked Duck thoughtfully. There was a long silence. I propose, said Gordon, that Percy be our, uh, d disputation. Me? squeaked Percy. I can't. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry. It's easy. That's settled then, said Gordon. Poor Percy wished it wasn't. Hello, Percy. It's nice to be back. Percy jumped. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, sir. You look nervous, Percy. What's the matter? Please, sir, um, they made me a desperation, sir, um, th th to speak to you, sir. Um, I don't like it, sir. Sir Topham Hat pondered. Do you mean a deputation, Percy? Yes, sir. Please, sir, it's, um, Donald and Douglas. They say, sir, that if you send them away, sir, well, um, they'll be turned into scraps, sir. Um, th 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 that'll be dreadful, sir. Um, please, sir, don't send them away. Thank you, Percy. That'll do. Later, Sir Topham Hat spoke to the engines. I had a, <clears throat> a deputation. I understand your feelings and I've given a lot of thought to the matter. He paused impressively. Donald and Douglas, I hear that your work in the snow was good. You should have a new coat of paint. The twins were surprised. Thank you, sir. And your names will be painted on you. We'll have no more mistakes. Thank you, sir. Does this mean that the both of us? Sir Topham Hatt smiled. It means, but the rest of the speech was drowned in the delighted chorus of cheers and whistles. The twins were here to stay. <laughs>